I'm joined here at Lords this afternoon by Middlesex's lead physio and head of medical services, Pete Waxman. Waxy, here we are, brand new facility at Lords, Middlesex's physio unit and gym. What difference has this made? You've obviously had it refurbed over the winter. Yeah, we finally got what we wanted here at Lords. We've got um, the old physio room has now been expanded into um, into a really decent gym. Actually, uh, strength coach uh, Andy Mitchell has had a lot of influence in that, and we've got, as you can see behind me, lots of new equipment, a bit more space, and um, it's been a great facility that that we've started using in the last month and has been paying dividends already. I think. Well, actually, this is going to be the first of a number of monthly catch-ups we're going to have, just chatting about the strength and condition of the squad and any injuries that you, you guys are managing from a fitness perspective. Um, you've come into this summer with the squad in pretty good shape. You've had a number of the fast bowlers with you all winter. Uh, you've worked hard on them all winter to keep them fit and get them into the season raring and, and, and fully fit. How's that been? Uh, yeah, well... As people may remember, at the start of last season, we had quite a few injuries and players down, and we reflected on that at the end of uh, last season, and we tried to make a few changes. As you said, we managed to keep three or four of our fast bowlers here with us over the winter, so they worked primarily on conditioning and then a gradual return to bowling, which seems to have got them all in a good place at the start of the season. And um, we also had a bit more control over people where and what they did over the winter as well, which has definitely made a difference. So fingers crossed so far, we've had a fairly fit squad compared to last year anyway. I suppose having that fit squad means that you can rest and rotate and manage players' workloads that much more efficiently? Yeah, definitely. It's something in an ideal world that I guess the medical uh, department would like to do to get the best out of people. Um, not always possible. We've got the coaches this year. Um, Stuart has spoke to us early on and said... He's behind that policy if, uh, if the, uh, the players are fit enough to allow us to do that. And so far, that has been the case. And we've had a few occasions where we've had more than enough um, people to pick from. And, we, and we've based some of, the, some of our decisions have been influenced, let's say, by who's, who's done what and how tired people are and workloads and things like that. So it's been, it's been great. Well, as is your lot, rare are the times that you're sitting down twiddling your thumbs at Lords. You've obviously got some injuries to manage. Uh, Martin Anderson was the first to go down this year with a back problem. Um, any update on Martin? Yeah, Martin's doing great at the moment. Um, he's had an underlying issue with his back four or five years, really. Uh, it's been managed, um, but unfortunately got to a point at the beginning of this season where, where the decision was taken, um, that he actually had some some surgery on his back he's had a couple of screws put in his back um that's all happened three or four weeks ago now he's back training he's um he's making to correct the right progress really so we're looking to have him potentially batting by the end of the season and be ready and fit and much more robust for a long-term cricket career really Great stuff. Well, that's good to hear. And I know Stephen Finn, obviously, we recently announced just prior to the Radlett game that Finney had a, a groin complaint. And obviously, David yesterday, playing with England, uh, pulled his own groin. Um, I know David's been back with you today. Um, I think he's had a scan. Uh, what are the updates on Finney and Mallor? So, Finney, yeah, Finney's got a little bit of a groin strain. So, we've, um, that, our club doctor scanned that and we had a look at that. He's, he's doing fine. He's, we're targeting the uh, Worcestershire match for his uh, potential return, which is in about three weeks' time. He's well on course for that. Um, we're not going to rush things. Um, but so that's just a little little bump in the road for him, but I think he's he's as fit as he's ever been, and I think he'll come back strong. And David, yeah, as people may have seen on TV over the weekend, pulled his groin uh, running between the wickets against Ireland. Um, he, I saw him today. He's actually having his scan on Tuesday. He's having a follow-up with... Um, with the England guys and he's had his scan on Tuesday we'll have more information he's still hobbling around a bit today um, we'll have more information kind of once we've got the scan and once we see how, we see how he settles down over the next two or three days but looks like he'll be out for a little while but again he'll be back okay well that's good to hear um, other than that all fit all well yeah that's that's the that's the only three at the moment those three are the uh, we've got everyone else is uh, green on our uh, injury uh, database so they're all ready and raring to go yeah well, actually, thanks ever so much for joining us. Great new facility here at Lords. Thanks for having us in and uh, look forward to catching up with you next month. Brilliant. Cheers, Fletch. Thanks a lot.